Take your time through the Leonardo da Vinci Master Draftsman Exhibition. The lighting is low through the winding display to protect the 120 drawings. It makes the mood just right to take in the staggering contributions of a man born in 1453. Son of a peasant girl, da Vinci was an artist, scientist, engineer, theorist, teacher, inventor, and a left-hander. You can see his left-handedness in the way that he holds the chalk and moves on the page to upper left. Right-handed artists go shade like that. We see Leonardo thinking on the page. We see him going from one thought to another. We see him correcting himself. We see him brainstorming. Curator Carmen Bombach says da Vinci was mostly self-taught. He just soaked up life, observing everything from the atmosphere to the body. She says as an anatomist, he had a very rational way of three-dimensional drawing. This skull, probably one of the most modern looking drawings because Leonardo is the inventor of this way of illustrating. We see the half of the skull from the outside, then a cross section of the skull to show you the placement of the teeth. This master of light, shadows, and texture is a labor of love for Bombach. She procured landmark international loans. Could you ask Queen Elizabeth if you could borrow a piece of art? How about the Vatican or Bill Gates? The curator of this exhibit did just that, traveling the world for years, dedicated to putting this together for the Metropolitan Museum of Art. This da Vinci exhibit is the first of its kind in the United States. You went all over. Was it tough to ask these people, let me have this da Vinci and take it to the United States? The first answer is usually no. <laughs> and then you keep going back. Bombach brought together rare finds, showing every aspect of da Vinci's artistic and intellectual achievements. The sole painting here, the unfinished St. Jerome praying in the wilderness, is a personal triumph. When you think how old they are. Yes, and this when is we preserved. got this painting out of the crate, 200 pounds of it, and then onto the wall, it was the most exciting <laughs> moment of my life. You were jumping For the down. first time, this is next to all these Leonardos from the same period. It's never been the case before. Bombach's also ecstatic about the loan from Bill and Melinda Gates, Da Vinci's notes on water flow. The pages are so delicate and rare, our camera can't get past the doorway, but you can see them up close in person. Da Vinci only did 15 paintings. Here you'll see the study for The Last Supper. Singing Da Vinci's praises, a return visit was a must for this artist who works with watercolors. It shows you the, the edges, uh, you know, all, how to just smooth it out and make it look like it's uh, third dimensional. Do you come here almost as a student then when you yeah, look at it? I've been coming here since I, uh, as a child. The museum hopes your family is like Tony Bennett and has the same lifelong routine here. With the help of Morgan Stanley, 1.5 million Da Vinci student guides were given to every New York City school student. It includes a pass for free family admission and some fun facts about Da Vinci. For Bombach, a Da Vinci devotee since she was a little girl drawing in Chile, who better for kids than the genius Leonardo? What would you want a child, for instance, to get out of this exhibit? To dare to be curious. Parents, stand back. Let your child be really, really creative. Dana Tyler, CBS 2 News, Sunday morning.